have dug our well and we are getting our water and we are going to drink and continue to Jerusalem They improvise. I'm here to tell you. This is not the time to go back. You are halfway to your dream. You are halfway to your cup. You are halfway to your marriage. You are halfway to your building. You are halfway to your breakthrough. If the enemy has denied you effort, if he has denied you money, if he has denied you water. Let us dig our well. 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 Let Muna Uganda aliwano. Uganda no isi. Kwani za muna kunsafu Musa. I invite you the seven seven days of glory. Oluzi. The well. Fere twezi mbide. That we dug ourselves. Sitani atu mama zi. The devil denied us of water. Netu fa wavu. We died of poverty. Netu fe naku. We afflicted in misery. Netu fa wurade. We afflicted in disease. Na loza ante chugenda genda. He thought we won't go. Mukama jia chutege kero genda. We are the Lord prepared us to go. Na twezi mbide oluzi orafe. We have dug our own well. Katunywa chudemo amani. Let us drink and be strengthened. Let us drink and wash. Let us drink and resurrect. That we may journey to Jerusalem. Tell your neighbor we've dug our well. We cannot sit down and wait for wells. We cannot drink from the wells of our grandfathers. Isaac tried it. In Genesis chapter 26, verse 18, he goes to a dry land and he's told that his father Abraham dug wells in that land and there is always water under it. So he dug up from the same place that his father had dug and water came up. But the moment the water came up, it was seized from him. That is what religion has been teaching us to do. For a long time we have been digging from where our grandfathers dug. We are saying we know the God of Abraham. We know the God of Isaac. We know the God of Jacob. We know the God of the Uganda matters. Digging old wells. But I have come to tell you. We cannot live off the old wells anymore. Because they will be seized from us. This is the season. To dig old Wells, to dig our own wells and get our water out and continue to Jerusalem. The word of God says in Genesis 26 verse 25 that eventually Isaac discovered his own place. We cannot make history when our grandfathers have already made history. I'm here to tell you that you are about to make your own history. He discovered his own will. And he said, I'm not going to build where my father has built. I'm not going to build where my grandfather has built. I am discovering my own place. I am building an altar there. And from that place, there is going to spring waters that the whole world will talk about. Say to your neighbor, these are the waters that I have built. These are the waters that I have built in this strange place. But you must be careful. When you are digging a well, you have to dig deep. 
It takes a lot of energy. And sometimes when you're digging well, the dirt will fall on you. And people begin to talk about you. They say things that put you down. Even the one who has never done what you are doing. They say what is he doing in 77 days. Even the one who cannot do quarter of what you are doing. He's now talking. That is just that. From the well. Continue digging. Continue digging. Continue digging. We are digging deep. We are digging deep. We are digging deep. We are going under. Now even a person who has never done what you are able to do they will speak saying the better than you say that is that out of digging the well I'm not going to stop until when I get my own water I'm going to keep digging as you dig the home may eat and you feel weakness Say the weakness wants to hinder me from getting to the water. You forget the weakness. You come back tomorrow in 77. You keep digging. Keep digging. You have to get your water. This is the good news. You've started digging the well alone. Nobody builds the well alone. When you begin to dig the well, village people come and join you. People are coming from all nations. They are going to join you. Those with your businesses. Those with your contacts. They are coming to help you dig the well. Because nobody can build Nobody builds a well alone. Tell your neighbor nations are coming. As long as I get my home, nations are going to join me. When I begin to get my home, the rich are joining me. When I get my home, people with my money are coming. Nobody builds a well alone. Say they are coming. Digging my well. Let me build my well. Let me dig my well. I'm fed up of religion. I'm fed up of redigging my problems. I'm fed up my well. I decided to build my well. Your nations are coming. People with your money are coming. When you begin to build a well in the village, People get food because a well is not going to sustain your house alone. It serves the entire nation. It serves the entire nation. People of God, the well you're building is going to support you. It's going to help the people in the village. And see that they come to that. You're not building for yourself alone. You're building for your household people of God there is no well that gets destroyed when the one who dug it dies the well you're digging You're even building it for your But also building it for your grandchildren. And the sons of your grandchildren. And the children of your children. This children. is a generational well. This well shall outlive you. It will provide water for your children. It will provide water for your grandchildren. It will provide water for your great grandchildren. Because of this well, your first generation is being delivered. 
Your second generation is being delivered. Your third generation is being delivered. Your fourth generation is being delivered. Your fifth generation is being delivered. What you're doing here is going to help the coming generation and the coming generation the fourth generation for you're doing it. That means whoever is not married but you have built your wealth you have to get married for your building for your children that means you who is barren if you build a well you have to give birth to children because you're building for your children That means if you've been dying of sickness, you are going to leave to see your grandchildren and your great grandchildren because you can't go, yet you've worked for them. Tell your neighbor, I'm going nowhere. The well of built is going to sustain me forever and ever. Say to your neighbor, I won't die in the God Katonda. has given me the ability to build a well so that I can drink and be refreshed, so that I can bathe and be clean, so that I can wash and be healed. And because of that well, I will make it to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city of peace. I'm here to tell you 77 days is the well that we have built in Baka. And I declare that in this dispensation, Baka is no more. There is no more lack in your family. There is no more sickness in your body. There is no more lack in your business. There is no more deliberation in your mind. You have made the decision. You are going forward to Jerusalem the city of peace the city of praise hallelujah and the last scripture says because they decided to build wells God said, even as much as you are looking for water from underground, there is also water that I can send you from above. So what he did to the people who built wells, he sent water as rain because they had built wells. They had built wells expecting the water to come from under and it came under. But God sent when he, when he saw that they had built wells he said the water from under is not enough. I am sending you water from above as well. I declare water that comes from heaven falling in your mind falling in your mind to fall in everything for you have dug a well let the rain not fall anywhere let it locate your well let it fall in your house let it fall in your marriage let it fall in your things I see the rain falling Your place. But if you dug a well, you shall have the rain in your business. In your business.
businesses in your land in your marriage in your children barren wombs will open because of the water that cometh from above in fact our soil will become fertile because of the water that cometh from above marriages will become better because of the water that cometh from above how do we build the wells first and foremost you identify the land don't go to your father's land don't go to your grandfather's land that is religion you have your own land and your own land is your problem area Pastor, Musumba. the land where you build the well is your problem area. If your problem area is your womb, that is your land. That is where you should build the well. If your problem area is your finances, that is your land. That is where you should build the well. Identify your land. We were digging wells, but we were digging them on the long, wrong land. On land that our grandfathers had already identified as their problem areas. And that is why we have been suffering with generational curses. You go to become delivered, you become bound. Identify your own land. After you have identified the land, get your tools and begin to dig. God has given us a tool, Pastor. The book. This is one of our tools. After you have begun, after you have finished, identified the land, get your tools. The first tool is prayer. Remember, you are digging deep. Get your energy and begin to dig. Don't get tired. Because for you to find to hit water, it is not on the surface of the soil. It is down there. That's why we went through phase one. We went through phase two. We went through phase three. We went through phase four. We, went through phase four. we are digging deep. Some of you people are asking, when is it ending? Tell them we are digging deep. You can't find water on the surface of the land. Even if we go to phase 15, I will never ask questions. Because water is deep, deep, deep down. <laughs> when you get the tools for building a well start digging without getting weary some things will come and frustrate you they will attack your body that you will know this is the land, soil they will speak ill against you. you just know those are stones hidden but keep digging so if you are about to get to the water the water of the Holy Spirit let me give you an image where we go after digging 
We came daddy. They even spoke ill about us. We are going to dig and get clean water. And we are going to look good. The world will look at us. They will say, Is that woman 50 years? They will ask about my age in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you where we're heading. We came people speaking ill. So and so sin. So and so did this sin. I'm going to tell you. Whoever is saying it's going to put to The water is going to wash you. People look at you will not see what you did. Tell your neighbor I'm digging. I am digging. I am digging. I am digging. I'm digging. Let me tell you. The far we are going. Some people are already frustrated. When they tell you about a new house, you don't believe. You've tried. And you failed. When they tell you about a healthy marriage, you don't want to be here. Told, they told, she told me I don't be pray for you. Let my marriage die. But let her look good and let her get good. She's fed up of marriage. But I want to tell you. Even if you're so fed up, somebody gives you a glass of water. From a fridge, from, from the pot, you are restored. We are going to be re-energized. Glory is coming back. Wisdom is coming back. Whatever we left, the Lord is energizing to us. To go back and do them in the name of Jesus. Let me give you a scenario. You arrive in Jerusalem in the place of praise. All that was prophesied upon you is going to come to pass. But you are going to arrive in glory and pomp. You're going to arrive looking good. You're going to arrive smelling good. You're going to arrive full of energy. You're going to arrive speaking good about you. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. I am moving ahead. I'm going to dig the well. Not my ancestor's well. But my well. In the name of Jesus. Listen. I think the Holy Spirit is amazing. It started with uh, God locating you. To fulfill His promise. Then the prophetic came. Now. What we are supposed to do. We are digging the well. So the Holy Spirit has now told us what to do. The journey, the roadmap to success is looking for someone who will fulfill his promises. And the prophetic has, has come that if the sun is still shining, you're going to make it. And now watch. He preached at Psalms 83. She preached Psalms 84. Uncoordinated. Uncoordinated. Now we know what to do. Let's dig our own wells. Let's stop looking at the wells of the colonialists. The wells of the religious. Those when you dig them, they will take them. Dig your well. Don't even look at the 
Do you know God is going to give you more land? Even this land of the clan, you will never fight for it. Oh boy, you didn't hear what I just said. This land of clans. Three acres, two acres. People always in court God is giving you a square mile of your own land. You're going to dig your own wells. People of God. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Do your fingers or hands like this. Dig throwing throwing behind. Nobody digs the ground throwing it in the front. Everybody who digs throws behind. Whatever was standing in your way, throw them behind. I like the part of Mosima when you dig, uh, dust falls on you, mud falls on you. People think you're wasting your time. It's your chaga day. My friend, let them take pictures while you're digging, how you used to look before. Let them still have that memory of your past. You're going to bypass them when you're shining and shop. I mean, tonight, I've never seen a meal prepared by the Lord. Are you the one who's going to make it happen for the Lord? So if you are the one, now hear the prophetic word. All the way from Apostle, through Apostle, from Zimbabwe. Very clear. Nothing will stop you. If nothing will stop you, Pastor Jess has said, now this is what you need to do. Dig your well. See my business, see yo. Dig your own business. You missed it. Simoluziro. Dig your own well. Mokama yokaku yire nkuba. Then God will send the rain. I love that. Echonchaga de. Gobado chali kubuzi. You are still at the well. Neebu pulu pulu bo no vukweto lo. But the different pools around the bank. Tuge na kujura mazi. I gonna be filled with water. When the Lord watches your efforts, He releases the abundance. Now hear this. In the name of the Lord. Look around you. Look around you. Not only one or two, three people. But as you see this mass of people, so are the angels standing near you to support you. So are people with resources to help you. The Lord is calling upon us to dig our wells. Now I want you to take two minutes and dig. We dig with our mouths. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's not how they dig. What do you want me, Pastor David? He gave a testimony. 20 years of, of Third World War in their bedroom. Where, where is that gentleman? What was his name? Now I want you to understand. Then we are going to dig wells. Get him a microphone. Excuse me, sir. Just testify, repeat the testimony you gave earlier on today. Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord, brethren. Uh, once more, my name is Amwesi Gwakolinis. I'm a Musao. 
I'm a government employee. Government. But I had that challenge you had. Married for 25 years. But for 20 years, no talking on my bed with my wife. No discussion. No planning. Brother, it was a disaster to me. All what I had at home. God finished. Because the Bible says Bible if two or three are gathered together, the Spirit of God is there. But he was not there. So I have lived a disaster life. But when I came here on 1st June, for nine days, when we went home, we are in the honeymoon. Pastor, I thank you very much for allowing the Holy Spirit to use you and Pastor Jessica and the whole team here. You are an asset to Uganda and the world. He said something that was very powerful. He said, they were, they were just in, he said most of the things are debated in the bedroom what do we do, what do, we do? but for him nothing even on other issues it was like you mentioned something that I was praying it got my attention yeah, maybe pastor to bring it up well, when it comes to the marriage issues it will be like he's raping because when there is no discussion then the first comes in which is not sweet at all like he's raping because when there is no discussion then the first comes in 20 years He came here for nine days. They dug their well. Now they are having a honeymoon. So now, go ahead. Dig your well. Dig your business well. Dig your well. Come on. Sima. Come on. Sima. Come on. Sima. Dig your well. Simoluzi. Dig your well. Simoluziro. Dig your well. Simoluziro. Siba I don't hear you. Siba I cannot hear you. Sima. Dig. Dig your well of business. Simoluziro business. Dig your well of connections. Simoluziro connections. Dig your well of reality. Simoluziro ebi. Dig your well of your land. Simoluziro takali. Dig your well of power. Simoluziro mamutoka. Dig your well. Simoluzi. Mare shetere bokoshe. Jere brokoshe tere broshi tere rebosha. Musiri kiride. Simolu zero. Dig your well. Ingera gamba mavumuka. Proverb says. Towa samuka musadi ya simolu zero. Don't marry someone in wife or husband. Dig your own. Sima. Dig your own sister. Dig your own systems. Mokama agenda kuwele zenkuba. Drink waters from your own well. God is going to send rain. God is sending rain. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy and favor. of blessings we need showers of blessings showers of blessings we need mercy and favor
your hands and tell him. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy and favor are for holy. Showers of blessings. Lift your hands and tell the Lord. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy and favor. Let it rain. 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 Lift your hand. Come on. Gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Open the flood gates of heaven. of heaven open the flood lift your hand stole me corner jo is waiting Alinze. to see who will stand in the gap. Then he will back you 